Hi, I'm Rival Phelum, and today I'm going to show you how to make this using Armor Stand Editor. If you're not here to learn Armor Stand Editor, you are at the wrong video. Alright, so now that you've seen this beautiful piece of majesty, let's create it. Recreate it. Create it again. I'm going to place an Armor Stand because this is a video about a plugin called Armor Stand Editor, and if it didn't use armor stands, that would be quite silly. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that stupid base plate off because I hate it. So I click away from the armor stand to open the menu, menu and I click the base plate option. And toggle base plate. Yay, look at me toggle. Look at me mommy. I can fly. Next I'm going to show the arms. So I'm going to toggle the arms on and off. Yay. Uh, I'm going to reset the pose so that all the arms and legs are reset to an angle of zero. Stands up nice and straight. Good boy. Uh, let's give him the Master Sword. And I'm going to do it a special way uh, using the Equipment function. I click Equipment. I click the armor stand and I can edit his equipment. You see I can put the Master Sword anywhere I want. On his head if I want. Whatever. Why not? I'll put it in his hand though because... That's where I think it should go. Uh, next I'm going to edit the hand position. And this is, uh, I can edit the X, Y, Z axis of the right arm position. So let's try X axis and see where that takes us. Ooh, no. Course adjustment. We have course adjustment and fine adjustment. Course adjustment moves things uh, big. I don't know how else to say it. Fine adjustment makes tiny, tiny adjustments. So we're going to move, oh yeah, nice and big. Straight out. That's perfect. Let's switch the axis to Y axis. Let's see if that works. Oh, that's the wrong way. So I left clicked there to move it that way. I'm going to right click to move it the other way. There we go. That's about where I want it. And then I'm going to change axis again. Let's try the Z. Mm, no, I don't want to do that. Let's move this back. Now I'll do the Z. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's that's what I like. So you can see this is kind of clumsy. I need to make small adjustments. So I'm going to switch to fine adjustment. And I'm going to get it, you know, just about parallel to the ground there. Oh, that's that's perfect. Okay. Now I need to move the body. And uh, let me make sure I turn gravity off because I don't want this falling. So now you can see it just float. Yay! So let's right click to move it down rather than up. And I'm going to show you a trick here. You see all that was on the y-axis. I'm going to change. I'm going to shift, which is a crouch for me. I'm going to use the mouse wheel to scroll. And that's going to change the axis. So I can do that x, y, z, x, y, z, whatever. Okay. So let's, oops, let's go that way. So it's about center. That's close enough for now. Uh, it's not the y. It's the x. Let's move it. Get you right in the center there. Perfect. And it looks like I'm a little off over there, so let's move it back. Okay, that looks pretty... Oh, no. No, not quite centered if you look at this. It's very important to get it just the way you want it, because it's your creation. So, let's turn it invisible. Oh, we have a sword! Yay! So, now we need... The hovering text to let everyone know it's the master sword and not just some stupid lame sword. The way we can do this, we can uh, name armor stands. If I take a name tag out right here, I can show you. I'm going to use the and symbol, which here will uh, function as a formatting code. Three, so and, the format three, which is uh, the color code for light blue or cyan or something. Master sword. Let's capitalize that. Master S word. Here we go. Oh my god. What what's happening? Well let's let's make it let's show it again. You can see it's hovering over that, but I want it to hover over the sword. That's not gonna do, so I'm gonna use another trick with invisible armor stands. Let me erase this name real quick. You can have your sword back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a second armor stand hovering over 
And I'm going to make that invisible, and that will have the name. So you will earn the name Master Sword. I'm going to reset you because I want to. Um, let's turn gravity off because I'll, I don't want you falling through blocks or anything. Replacement. Fine adjustment. Where are we going? This way? Okay, let's go this way. I could have just uh, done a larger adjustment. Let's see. Oh, what happened there? It got in the way. So how do I stop it from getting in the way? I'm going to pick the swap items key. The swap item in hands, hands key. By default, that's the F key. So if I press F, it does that. If I press F again, you can... Whoops. It'll target what I'm looking at. So these are actually too far away to... But yeah, you can see. So I'm just going to keep targeting this. And... Oh, here we go. And now even though the other armor stand should be in the way, uh, because I'm using targeting mode, it knows which one I want to target. And that looks that looks all centered. So we can go ahead and turn that invisible. And yay, that's it. Uh, let's actually make it go down a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's that's perfect. Okay. So now it's it's just the way I like it, and that's awesome. And let me see. The only thing I haven't shown you so far, the size. Let's let's just uh, show you that real quick. Oops, I'm targeting that one over there. So let's uh, let's untarget. I'm just gonna look away and untarget. So now it'll go back to doing whatever one I click. And so I showed you that, showed you the base plate. Rotation. Rotation's just what it sounds like. Right now it's on a fine adjustment, so it's rotating really slowly. So I right click to make it go the other way, left click to make it go this way. It's a course adjustment. It goes a lot faster that way. You just rotate it whatever way you want. The other thing that I have not shown. Let's give you some equipment. Let's make you... Let's do some funny things with your legs here. Okay, there we go. That's pretty recognizable, I think. Looks kind of like a ballerina. Um, let's give you some items. I'll give you a Master Sword in your other hand. You'll have this on this hand, and let's give you an anvil on the head. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. And I want I want a lot of these. So I'm going to place down some of these. I copy the default copy slot is slot one, but I could use any slot. So I could copy have, you know, um different armor stands and different slots. I copied this armor stand. If you'll notice in chat, after I did that it automatically switched to paste. So now I'm gonna paste these guys. And if I can show you something real quick, game mode zero, so I'm in survival mode now, although with a lot of health, I can paste, but this time it doesn't duplicate the items. So this is, it's very survival friendly, you can do all this in survival, but of course it won't copy items into survival, because that would be bad. And we don't, we don't want to duplicate items. Get out of here. Um... I think, yeah, that's, that's, that's actually it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Um, yeah, that's all.